Thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise in support of my amendment number 123, which seeks to ban funding from going towards funding the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's firearm injury and mortality prevention research. President Biden requested $35 million for this program in his fiscal year 2024 budget request, which is a $22.5 million increase from fiscal year 2023. Mr. Chair, I was the Director of Public Health in the great state of Iowa before coming to Congress and a practicing physician for decades. I not only have served in public health, but I value public health and believe that robust public health infrastructure nationwide is crucial to the health and well-being of our country. That's why I released a request for information earlier this year on how to strengthen and reform the CDC to ensure that our nation's leading public health agency is performing as it should. Part of evaluating our public health departments is realizing when there are programs that do not add value or belong in the public health landscape. The CDC was originally created in 1946 as a communicable disease center with the mission of preventing the spread of malaria or other communicable diseases. Since then, the agency has grown into a massive bureaucracy and now is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention with a $9 billion budget that supports research and initiatives which are not within the communicable diseases landscape. And as we saw, there were failures of this institution in both the initial testing for COVID-19 and in the response to COVID-19. My amendment is an important first step in costly programs at the CDC, which urges the CDC to get back to its main mission and to help prevent a pandemic in the future. With that, I reserve my time. 